How you doing YouTube? This is your boy DJ Roberto, the international bad boy. Today I'm doing a video specifically dedicated for the new beginners DJs that just bought their controller, don't know how to hook up their controllers and the laptop or don't know what they need to start off. It's just a basic first installation, okay? It's basically dedicated for my godson. I just got the, the DJJ Rev 7. He got the best control experience. Hook him up. I know they love the controller, but they don't know basically how to hook it up. So I'm going to try to help them out the best I can. In the meantime, I want you guys to subscribe. If you like my channel, subscribe. Hit the bell notification and share my video. That's all I ask, you know. But in the meantime, let's go straight into the video. Peace. DJ Roberto, the international bad boy of Panama. your boy DJ Roberto. Today um, I want to have a teacher guys for the new beginning DJs out there that just got their controller and don't know how to connect the controller to your computer or don't know what is what you need to do to get start DJing. This is just a basic, ba very simple basic. This, most, this video is mostly dedicated for my godson. He got the, um, the controller. He bought a Pioneer controller. First he bought the Top of the line controller, his parents hook him on and took care of him, but they don't know how to start playing or start making the sounds come out. And this is what you really need. You already got the controller, you're gonna need a computer, preferably a Mac computer, is what I use. See the Mac computer. And do I have a see if you get a Mac computer with all the different connection here? You might not see those no more because this is the older computer. You need this connection so for the USB to put in the USB to come out of the controller to the USB. If you don't have that type of connection or you don't have this computer, you're probably going to get you a newer computer. And if you do get a newer computer, it doesn't come with the connection required to hook up your, you know, your USB to come out of the controller. Now you need it, like I said, you need the controller which you already have and your computer. Now, the controller itself comes with a USB cable that looks like this for you to connect to your computer. Okay? And you will, if you got a computer, already got all the connection like, like this old computer, we just connect it here, like that. I know your computer is already hooked up to the controller. Now, if you don't have a computer with this connection, which this is a Mac also, you can do Windows. Windows is fine, but I don't like using Windows because it tends to crash and you have to worry about buying a, a software from keeping virus to get on it. Mac is a more money, but it's more stable. It's appropriate for DJs. Okay, so like I said, if you want to do it, let's do it right from the beginning. Okay like this now i got a newer computer because this is a 2009 computer it still works but it's slower and it's it's old it did its thing it did its time so i went and upgraded to a newer computer in which this computer do not come with none of the connections as you can see how they have two inputs right there for maybe for the power cable it's just for the power cable one more input but like you see the cable that come from the, con the controller from your DJ is, is a USB and definitely it doesn't work so either you're gonna have to get your uh, a cable adapter let's see if I got one I'm not sure if I got one uh, I don't know if I got it I don't got, got one but you can buy them just go to the store Best Buy to the Apple store and asking you want a adapter to, for your laptop computer if it's a Mac. I went and bought this one on Amazon. This one got all the connection. It got an HDMI, HDMI, USB. Got to put a memory card and SIM card. 
see and you get another input here and they also got I bought it just in case I want to use it for another connection so this is very proper I bought this on Amazon I'll put it in the description once to get it. so you put it in I put it here now with that connection or adapter now I could put in the cable from my control it go right sliding right in there now this is not necessary but as you start downloading music into your computer you're eventually going to run into the problem that you're going to run out of space you're going to have a lot of space in your computer but as a dj like me i get a lot of music thousands of music and i don't want to keep all of my information on my computer you could buy a stand a sterno hard drive okay they got different kind but i like this one sign this because it's smaller but it's more more expensive but it um works faster when i say faster some external hard drive you use it takes time to load up you're in a gig and you got certain time to hook up to start your party you're waiting for it to upload it your music into your computer this one is fast it costs more money but it's faster but you could use any external hard drive i'm not saying that you have to buy an external hard drive for a beginner you don't have to but eventually you will want to get one because of that thousand and thousand of music you're going to be able to download into your tree. It's going to be too much music for your computer. You're going to have the computer crash. And so what I, what I do, get a standard hard drive. My music is here. I walk with me and I put away. I don't have to worry about losing and getting deleted. Everything is safe here. So now, moving on, I put up my, hook up my standard hard drive there because all my music is here. So now, the next thing you need to do now to, to start playing music, let's assume that you already got music in your computer, okay? Or you got to extend how you got music here. You have to download the, the software, which is Serato DJ Pro, okay? I wish I got it here. Right I'm going to open it up right now. If you buy any Pioneer controller, probably going to already have one already, a disc or something that you could download. Or you could go to the website, go to this website and download it, this free software, Serati DJ Pro, SeratiDJPro.com. And once you do that, you're going to have it automatically going to link all your music that you got saved on your computer or your hard drive already on it. See all my music here? Um, the music is in the yellow because I, I disconnected my hard drive. You haven't recognized you see now my music came in all my music is there now in order for you to to hear your music this is not a thing you need like i said you need a controller you need a cable that come with a controller the usb cable that come with a controller you need a computer and you need your speaker okay this is the theme of the speaker and the sounds coming out from your controller into your speaker now i got some jbl's power speakers that in this case I'm using the connections in the back my output on my controller I'm using the quarter inch and you need also quarter inch cable I'm using the quarter inch cable see it's a quarter inch cable this is you might want to buy too so though depending on the speakers you got okay but you still need a quarter inch speaker because one cable will represent the left on the right side so one cable is for one speaker and the other cable for the other speaker. See the other cable right here? See the other cable right here? Quarter inch cable. Now, once you get the quarter inch cable, come on, you connect it in the back of the speaker here. Come on. See the back of the speaker? I put the quarter inch cable into the, the input of the speaker right here. And one cable go here, another cable go in the other. Those are the connections that the, the speaker you require. And once you do all that and connect all that, now everything should play. Okay, everything should play. Let me just get a uh, quick. 
Let's play something. The business. Whoa, you already know. See, you know, I know I got sound. Very simple. All my music is there. Like I said, in order for you to you utilize your controller DJ setup, okay, you need the computer. And if your computer don't have the connections on the side like this one, the old computer like this, see, if you don't have this connection in, the, in your computer, your laptop. You need to um, get our adapter or a cable adapter in which you could utilize it, come up with a different connection. And once you do that and your controller come with a cable, the USB cable, you run a user skill from your controller straight to your laptop. You download the Serato program online, serato.com pro. Okay, once you download it, it automatically wanna upload your music that you got saved on your computer. Then you get you some speakers that got a connection, the quarter inch connection in the back. That's what I'm using versus RSC. Because if you use RSC, you're only going to have to use one, one speaker. So I use quarter inch for use both speakers. Once you do that, you're ready to rock and roll. Now, like I say, this is just extra. A standard hard drive is extra. That's depending on how many music you're going to eventually have. And you don't want your computer to crash. After you do all that set up, you're ready to rock and roll. And this just to me, just a basic connection, how to connect your controller to get you started. Okay? Any questions? Leave a comment on my channel. And I'll surely answer the best I can. Nephew, got some? Enjoy your new, your new controller. Okay? I think you got RS7. That's the best right now. Enjoy. And you guys subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification. Remember, I'm here for you guys. Signing out. This is your boy, DJ Roberto, International Bad Boy. Peace.